All right, this is in Dougal Chancellor. The application of congas and bongos in pop and funk music not only incorporates the traditional rhythms, but now the percussionists can adapt various rhythm patterns to accommodate the rhythmic grooves. Boom, pop, doom, doom, pop, doom, boom. patterns can go against funk rhythms, R&B rhythms, pop rhythms. Of course, when in doubt, always refer to the tradition. But now you can use various patterns. the congos and the percussion can be played as intros to songs so the drummer doesn't have to do everything we can switch roles we can play a percussive intro for a song that's kind of funkily driven Drums, timbales, and congas gives me another approach sometimes to creating rhythm patterns for the timbales. So if I'm playing with another drummer, sometimes I will adapt different cowbell patterns that will go along with the drummer. If I'm playing a funk pattern with the drummer, I might play something like this. play something like this now I'm leaving space for other parts of the rhythm section to play but I'm also creating a pattern for the timbales of course you can always go back to very stable patterns like The only thing you have to watch as a timbali player is that your backbeats line up with the backbeat of the snare drum with the drummer. Playing percussion gives you the luxury now of creating different sounds and timbres together. Sometimes I play drums, congas, timbales together. Today I'm going to demonstrate some conga and timbali patterns together. One, two, three, four. to the A section. So now for different sections, you can orchestrate various parts that will accommodate the form of the song. 